Full view of the ocean front right there, but a heads up if you plan to hit the beach this weekend, there is, as Jeff mentioned, a high risk of rip currents and they can be dangerous. But a new tool aims to give people more protection as we head into the summer. Adriana de Alba shows us how it works. All along the ocean front, the red flags are up. They are warning people of the high risk for rip currents and the threat is sticking with us through the weekend. So if you come out here, you're going to keep seeing the flags fly. But the good news this year, lifeguards here are using a new tool to keep you safe. Walk along the Virginia Beach ocean front and you'll hear the loud waves crashing. It's pretty rough today. A lot of waves. Red flags are whipping back and forth on this Friday, signaling dangerous conditions and a high risk of rip currents. Parents like Caitlin Atkinson are on high alert. They can play right there where the waves are kind of breaking in, but I don't want them to go any farther than that. The number one danger at the beaches is rip currents. That's Tom Gill, president of the Virginia Beach Life Saving Service. The red flags are up and lifeguards aren't letting their guards down. Here we go. We're, we're, we're one week away from the main summer season starting with Memorial Day weekend and the beaches are going to be packed. It's, it's time. This year, his team is using a new model to detect rip currents. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just rolled it out. It's online map showing you the threat of rip currents in real time warning where and when the fast moving water can carry you away from the shore. It's a great resource. The model can detect rip currents up to six days in advance. It's a perfect timing to have all this ready to go so that we can better protect the people that are coming here. After the long pandemic, Gill says they're anticipating one of the busiest summers at the beach with people eager to get out and enjoy a trip to the beach once again. In Virginia Beach, Adriana de Alva, 13 News Now. Lifeguards rescue tens of thousands of people from rip currents in the U.S. every year, and they kill about 100 people a year. The National Weather Service says that's more than the number of deaths from things like lightning, heat, and hurricanes.